All right, here we go. Okay, so now, like I said, I want to finish this uh, from yesterday, and I really would like to um, make sure you guys are understanding setting up proportions because that's what we're going to do for the rest of the time. Yes. Okay, so we are right now on question number 17. All right, so it says on a map, the key indicates that one inch is equal to 50 miles. So the first thing everybody's going to do is, and, and I'm pretty sure you guys are good with this, you're writing the proportion. One inch is to 50 miles, right? That's what we're doing. One inches to 50 miles. That's how I want you to set it up. Now, I know some of you are good with numbers. You can say, well, I just knew to multiply or I just knew to divide. That's perfectly fine. But I do want to set up the proportion because I have the worksheets today that it's all about setting up a proportion. All right. So it says it is 600 miles from Ricky's house to Willer's Tower. All right. What is the distance on the map? So, again, where does the 600 miles go? Yeah, 600 goes in the bottom. And then X goes on the top. That's exactly correct. All right, now we have the proportion set up. We just cross, multiply, and divide. So again, just looking carefully, multiplying this direction, um, that gives me 50X. And then 600 times 1 is 600. So how many inches would it be apart on a map? Oh, yeah. What is it? 12 inches. Thank you, sir. X equals 12 inches. All right. I told you that was pretty easy. Okay. Now, the back side is, is really simple. All right. But for whatever reason, um, these blueprints, some people have trouble with. All right. So let's take a look at this. All right. Now, the key says what? <laughs> Yeah, one centimeter is equal to three feet. Now, where's that located? That's located on the map somewhere. All right, now this is called centimeter graph paper, which means that every uh, square is one centimeter wide. Come on, hurry up. Come on, come on, I wanna get work done. You're messing around already. Yes, you are. You should have already had that thing sharpened. Where's your worksheet? All right, let's go. All right, so we want, it says, use the scale drawing to find the actual length. Now, we're gonna look at the master bedroom. So I'm gonna highlight the master bedroom for everybody. All right, even though I'm sure everybody can see it. All right, this is the master bedroom from here to here, here to here. Now, what I want to make sure everybody understands is this right here is one centimeter. Does everybody agree with that? And this right here is what? One centimeter, right? What'd she say? Um, she said, do you know what it's called? But I told her that it's like today's class and it'll be like posted later. Yeah, tell her. And then she said, oh, she said never mind. Okay, thank and you. Then, should I watch it after the class? Yes. Lunch and tell him I don't have my binder and so I won't be able to do the work. All right, will you just tell her I'll send her the worksheet okay. on Classroom? Thank you so much. Tell her I'll post the, um, right after class, I'll post the worksheet. All right. All right, so again, the square is one centimeter. Now, what does it say? One centimeter is how much? One centimeter is three feet, okay? So to me, I wouldn't mess around with this. I would just say that this width is how many centimeters? Five centimeters. So we know it's what? 15 feet. Does anybody find that difficult at all? Anybody have any issues with that? All right, so let's go down to the master bedroom. The master bedroom is 15 feet by, now let's do the other way. How much is this from here to here? How many centimeters? Four. Four. So that would represent? 12 feet. 12 feet. Anybody got a problem with that? Mm 
I don't care what you write on your paper. Okay. Right? That's what that means, though. If you say 15 feet by 12 feet, that's what that means. Length by width or width by length. Does it matter the length and the width, what you call the length or width? Do you think it matters? Which one is longer in a rectangle? The length or the width? Um, the length. No, it doesn't. The, you, right, it doesn't matter. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Does it matter what size it is? No, it doesn't. All right. That's when somebody says the dimensions. All right. The dimensions of the room are 15 by 12. All right. So now let's move over to bedroom number two. All right. Here is bedroom number two. That's bedroom number two. What is it? 12 by 12. 12 by 12. All right. 12 by 12. So bedroom number two is 12 feet by 12 feet. Not square feet, not square feet. All right, it's 12 feet. The X in this means by, all right? That's what it means, not literally multiplying, all right? And then let's look at the kitchen and the dining area. Tell me, Sophia. 12 feet by 16 feet. 12 feet by 16 feet. Don't take her word for it. 12 feet by 16 feet. That's what she said. 18. Thank you. 12 feet by 18 feet. Yes, sir. I thought you counted the, the rooms and then times it. That's what we did. So watch. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six centimeters. And then you just multiply that by three. That's how we knew it was 18 feet. You with me on that? Then you did this right here, and you said that was four centimeters. Mm -hmm. And then you just multiplied that by three, and that's how I got 12 feet. Wait, what are you doing here? Um, I think what you did is you found the perimeter of the room. That's what you did. They're not, they're not asking for the perimeter of the room, I don't think. It says, use the scale drawing to find the actual length and width of each room. We're not doing the perimeter. You found the perimeter. Do you hear me? Yeah. You sure? Tell me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do the next one for me. The half bath. Six feet from here. Yeah, six by nine. That's exactly right. Thank you very much. Six feet by nine feet. Now, again, generally these are on the ERBs, right? Where you have to look at a map and you have to kind of, and I personally just don't think it's that hard, right? And, but again, I want you to speak up if you're not sure. It seems like we're good. What? I asked for number 20, where it's located. You said eight, eight, uh, 18 by 12. That's what we just talked about. 18 feet by 12 feet. Yes, it doesn't matter to me. The length and width are totally interchangeable. You don't write the small one and then the big one, the big one. It's totally interchangeable. Yes. Yes, I think so. But I'm not sure. They may have changed it to no calculators. I'm not 100% sure. What? I don't get how you got nine. Well, you measured the half bath, right? How much from here to here? So three times three. But six and you count the outside. No, I, how much from here to here? Two. Two times three. three. There you have it. But what, what about that one right What about what one? The one, the strips. That, mm -hmm. that little square. The line. This is the half bath. This is just showing you that it's a, a door would go there. That's what that is. It looks different on paper and it's kind of hard to see. But it's like, you know, those like, like single, like 
the one mm -hmm. thing. What about that one where it's right there? Up, uh, above where you're I know, but I'm, I'm just, they're asking me about this half bath. Shh, shh, shh. They're asking me about this. Do you understand that? They're not asking me about anything else. They're asking me literally half bath. So you go where it says half bath. This is the half bath. I don't care about anything else. What? That's gonna get why you count. Count what? The extra space. In the bedroom too. Under the bedroom too. Um, I understand that. Let him talk. This is what you're asking? No, what, right here. This right here? Uh, look, look, I'm not, listen, I don't know what you're asking, but I'm going to tell you this. You ready? This, just can you stop for a second? This right here, kiddo. This, I don't know what you're having problem with. That is the half bath, just that area. It's enclosed. Right, it, it's not, it's being enclosed by those walls, just like the bedroom up here. Bedroom number two was enclosed by those walls. What? Are those stairs? I don't understand how the kitchen and dining room and master bedroom are on the same enclosed stairs, like. I don't know what that is. Okay. Like the, like, so like, it doesn't, it doesn't matter because it's not active. That's it's exactly active. right. It's just taking us way too long. This one I'm not understanding. They're asking me about the master bedroom, the bedroom number two, the kitchen, and the half bath. And we're discussing stairs, how they belong in the house on a graph paper. It might be a two-story house. That's what they would do to represent those who go, that's where the stairs go. And then they'd have off to the side, they'd have the second level and explain what's above. All right. Hub. Mm -hmm. What I like I said, I'm not sure. I, I I know you were asking me a serious question, but and I'm trying to make sure I've clarified everything. Do you understand what I mean? They're asking about the half bath, right? Yeah. Nothing yeah. outside of that enclosed area is the anything else. It's not the half bath, it's just that dimension. Okay, now we got to move, guys. One inch is 50 miles. One inch is 50 miles. So what, what can I do here? Just to summarize this, what do I have to do? I think you can make it into proportion by putting five, one uh, equals one over 50, and then five on the side, right. the side and X on the bottom. Yes, you could do that. And then this would be five over X or just simply, multiply. just simply multiply. That's what the scale is. Every one inch is 50 miles. I don't want you to set up a proportion. If you can just say, well, that makes sense to me. My eyes, my brain can see that all I'm doing is multiplying by 50. Is everybody okay with that? Right? So now let's get through the answers real quick. All right. I'm going to zip through. Mr. Ward, tell me about 22. 250 miles, that is correct. Lila, what about number 23? Um, yep, you can use your calculator real quick. Everybody else, go ahead and get them all knocked out. So when I call on you, you're going you're to be ready. Yes, 600 miles. Addison, what about 24? Uh, Anybody else get that? Yeah. Yes, sir. 0. 0.75, that's the same thing. Good job. If you put 118.75 miles, I'm good with that. Okay. You know, sorry, 49. how much? 49. 
40 miles. <laughs> Sophia, two and five, six. 141 and two thirds miles. Yes, I like two thirds because I don't like three repeating or six repeating. Very good. 3.25. Who's got the last one? Tell me. 157.5 miles. 157.5 miles. Very nice. Again, is that right? No. Uh oh. Yeah, all right. Very good. I've never seen Mikey make a mistake before. 162.5 miles. Try that again. Right? Yes. I've told you the calculator is rounding. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. The calculator is rounding at the end. All right. They always, it always does. All right. That's what I'm saying. You should recognize that. All right. As a rounded number. All right. So let me, um, let me pause. All right. So for similar figures at the top of your paper, I would like for you to know that similar figures are the same exact shape, just a different what? Size. Same shape, different size. All right. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to put angles are congruent and sides are proportional. That's what I want. Angles are congruent and sides are proportional. Angles are congruent and sides are proportional. Now, again, I, I feel like this is really simple. All right, really simple. All right, everything can be done as a proportion. Next week, Monday's a really big deal. Same thing, we're gonna do proportions again. All right, but I wanna find X. So who can look at that and just tell me what X is? Obviously, we don't even need much work on that. You can just say the answer is, how did, how did you know it was eight inches? Because they just doubled it. Yeah, they just doubled it. All right, they just doubled it. That's it. I know, I know you don't. Just watch, that's what I'm showing you. Look at the figure. AC is how much? Yeah, yeah. AC is three, right? What's DF? Six. So it's what? I know, but how big is the big triangle compared to the small triangle? It's twice the size, right? It's twice as big. Now, how do I know that? Because AC, we say, corresponds to DF. So if you didn't see the relationship, you can just say three over six equals four over X. That would be the proportion. That's what I'd want you to, that's how I'd want you to write it. Now, again, I'm trying to tell kids all the time, I make the worksheets relatively what? Easy, numbers. Because I'm trying to get your brain to make the connection. Does everybody agree with me on that? You're supposed to look at that and say it's just twice as big. So I know it's eight. I could use harder numbers so you couldn't just do that. That's why I think it's important for everybody to set up that proportion. All right, I'd like you to set up the proportion, even though you can look at that and say X equals eight. All right. So on the next one, set up the proportion for me there. Go ahead. What's the proportion? Two over four. Two over four. Is equal to five over X. Yes, very good. Now, it's just what? We can look, yeah, it's just 10. Everybody should be able to look at that and say, well, I just know it's 10. You can't, the you can't right, because two and four are the similar sides. Four is twice as big. So we know that X would then be 10. 
Is everybody okay with that? Yes. Anybody have any issues? No. Yes. Okay, so look at this. Do you see how we did two over four? Yeah. Right, so we just write two over four. That's our proportion. Then we put five over X, right? Yeah. Now we just cross multiply. 2X equals 20, do you see that? Yes. And then divide by two. So what does X equal? X equals five. 10. 10, 10, you agree? Yeah. So now, how did we know it was 10 without doing the proportion though? Nope. Well, yes, that's true. But what I'm asking you is, if you look at the two and you look at the four, four is how many times bigger than two? Twice, twice as big. So because this, because X, Y is twice as big as N, O, then this has to be twice as much as this. You with me? Yeah. All right, that's what I want. So now I want everybody to look at number three. Number three is a little bit harder, right? I'm not, hold on, three is a little bit harder because I can't just look at say six times what is eight. So I agree with that. All right, tell me how to set it up though. Six over eight, beautiful. And then nine over, and nine over eight. Yes, sir, that's it. And then after the well, how's that? Oh, 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 no, 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 now listen to me. You made a good mistake there. It's never addition. It's never addition. It's always multiplication. You with me? So that's why I'm saying this one's a little bit harder because I don't know six times what is nine i mean so now you cross multiply so when we cross multiply do this what six x equals come on six x equals what well nine times nine is 81 72 it's okay it's not a big deal and now after that we just do what Divide by, oh, six. come on now. Do you not have your calculator today? Well, we'll use it. Now what's 72 divided by six? Yes. So we'd say 12 feet. What? Can you do um, six times um, three over two is nine? And then do eight times three over two is fifteen. Yeah, yeah, yes. It's not that I get annoyed. That that's not it at all. All right, it's not it. It's just I don't understand why it's got to be different. That's all. I just don't understand why it has to be different. All right, I know six times one point five. So that's why I knew the answer was twelve without doing any work. We could have also reduced six dates and reduce six eighths to three fourths, and then multiply by three. There's lots of ways to do it. All right, you just have to find something and stick with it. All right, again, the numbers are easy for a reason. The numbers are easy for a reason. All right, so let's take a look now at number four. Again, setting up the proportion is important. I almost call you Cameron. Jacob, go. Um, 15 over 18 and 12 over X. Now he's liking this. He said 15 over 18. That's perfectly fine. 15 mm -hmm. over 18 equals what though? 15 over 18 equals 12 over X. Why 12 over X? I mean, um, what would it be? It would be M instead of X. I no, 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 no. M is meters. You did this over this and then you said 12 over x now please this is why you guys are learning right now is that correct or incorrect because why no no it's not that that's right 
15 goes with what? X. 18 goes with the what? You see why that is? You'll definitely get a different answer if you, if you swap them out, right? If you don't set up the proportion correctly. But what? Tell me. Are you listening to anything we're saying? Right? He said 12 over X, and we were explaining why it was incorrect. Yeah, I was talking. Yeah, I see why, John. Yeah. All right. Let me see. Oh, so it's. That's what we have. And now we just cross, multiply, and divide. So we have 18X is equal to what? 18X. Um, 18 times X or. Well, how do I solve that? Oh, how do you solve it? Oh, you press multiply. Okay, so what do I get? 8x is equal to 1 right now. 15 times 12 is 180. Right, that's then what I want. That's 18, right? Right. That's no doubt. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Lila, help me out with number five. I like that. And then 21 over 24 equals? Uh, 14 over x. Yes, 14 over x. And then you cross multiply and then you get 16. Yes, 21x equals how much? Um, 16. Or, and then What's 24 times 14? That's what I'm asking you. Um, <clears throat> I know some of you just cross multiplying and dividing on your calculator. Right, and so x equals? Yeah. Wait a minute, but 14 times 24 is not 136. No, I said 300. Oh, that's my fault. 336. And then you said what? 16. 16. Um, is it okay though if I just multiply 24 times 14 and then divide by 24? Yes, but what's the most important thing though, I, I don't care about the cross multiplication dividing. You can just tell me it's 16, but I still want you to set up the proportion because okay. I because I, I need to know that you're setting up properly. But put it like the 21 with the X kind of confusing. Yeah, it is kind of confusing, right? Next year it'll be better. All right, so now when we set up number six, now, can anybody look at this and tell me what's true? What's the relationship, Sophia? Are you just doubling it? You're just doubling it again. So X is 20. Yeah, X is 20. All right, let's check out um, number seven. All right. Max, why don't you set this one up for me? And which one? Number seven. Yes. 35? Yes. 18 over X equals 30 over 35. Is that good? Uh, yeah. Mikey, you could write it as what, though? I'm supposed to do that. Okay. Wouldn't it be 18 over 30 equals 35 over X? So I like this. 18 over 30 equals. So if I do 18 over 30, it's equal to what? Put that thing up, please. <laughs> Why 35 over X? Oh, X over 35. Right, X over 35. That's the same thing, believe it or not. Tell me. So I thought it was going to be X over 18. Equals, equals, shh, equals, tell me. Oh, it's 35 over 35. Yes, it's the same thing. There's lots of ways you can set it up. That's what I'm trying to explain, right? You just have to see it a, a right way. And someone was incorrect because they switched up the order you understand what i'm saying yeah. 
All right, that's why you have to be real careful the way you set it up. So no matter what, when you solve this, X works out to be what? What is it? 21. Did you ask get 21? Yes. All right, get over here and sit. All right, you guys, listen, I, I, I've warned you too much. All right, Wilson, I, I, listen, if I'm looking up and you're messing around or you're not on task, I'm, I'm, I've got the little book right here. All right. That means I'm just going to call your mom from right here. Okay, right in front of you. And have you talk to her about you messing up my class. All right, number eight. Maggie, you help me out with this one. This, they're trying to throw you off, kiddo, so don't be thrown off. Um, so I did X over 10. Yes, ma'am. And 12 over 16. You're awesome. Is that, hold on a minute. Is that the only way you can set that up? No. No, no you can see it lots of different ways. Yeah. All right. And what did we get? And then I cross multiply. We okay with that, guys? Good for you. Tell me. Show me. No, I don't want you talking. Yep. Did you cross multiply? You cross multiply. And what did you get? 16 and X. Right. 16 X. Equals? 120. Yes. Oh. Like, divide. Yes. And now divide. And now divide. Okay. Ooh. Nora, tell me about this one. So I thought this was something that it's over here. It's ten. How did you? Because um, four over eight equals five over x. You're amazing. Four over eight. Listen, I know that was hard for you because you can just tell me what the answer is, right? I appreciate you setting that up for me. Okay. Tell me. That's right, because there are how many different ways to set it up? A lot. Yeah. You see what I mean? You just can't do what? You just can't say like five over four equals eight over X. Yeah. Because that doesn't, those aren't corresponding parts. Do you see what I mean by corresponding? Right. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay. Wilson, what? I don't really understand the setting up in that Because you were playing around. No, I understand. Oh, okay. Wow. Shh. Don't tell me no. All right. What I want you to try to set this up. I'm going to erase this. You set it up. Uh, five over X. Five over X. Those correspond. That is true. Four over eight. Why not eight over four? Now, here's what I want you to think about. This is the small and this is the large, right? Five is the small, four is the large. So you would do small figure to large figure, small figure to large figure. Do you agree with that? All right. So when we cross multiply, Nori already said it was what? Yes, 10 miles away. All right, the reason it's 10 miles away is we already can look at that and say it's just twice as far. All right, it's twice as big. You agree? Okay, so tell me about the next one. Yeah. 40 over 20, I'm liking that so far. Wait a minute, 40 over 20. Okay, so now I want you to look at this. 40, does 40 go with 20? Shh. Nope. No, they don't. Now let's figure out why they don't go together. I'm, I'm happy you made that mistake. All right, so let's look. I'm erasing this and erasing this. Now, please.
this, hold up, just let me say this one real quick. This is between these two equal angles. X goes with 20. Do you see that now? This is the side of the triangle. So 10 and 40 go together. All right, listen guys, no homework. I'm happy with that. All right, I'm happy. I just assumed, I just assumed 10 here. I, I just put uh, 10 over 40 and then 20 over 